So today we're in downtown Burnsville, um, another little small mountain town about 30 minutes from Asheville and about uh, about 20 minutes from Spruce Pine. But it's just a nice little little town, I guess. Ain't got no kids today, it's just me and Sarah. So we'll be able to do a little bit more. So, yeah. It's called Monkey Business. It's a little toy shop. And then it's also the other side of the building's a, a different shop altogether. It's what what? It's called Something Special. It's actually really neat. Um, the kids really like this shop. But it's just your basic little toy store. You know, a lot of educational toys as well as, you know, games and not junk, I guess you could say. But uh, kids really enjoy it. It's one of our. side of the store um just little knickknacks and decorative stuff and it's pretty cool if you're ever coming through um uh, burnsville whatever you definitely need to stop at those two shops um well yeah it's one shop but it's split i guess you could say um the little gift shop something special is actually really neat they got a lot of neat knickknacks they've also got locally made stuff pottery souvenirs you know t-shirts stuff like that yeah all that good good mess i don't know if you heard sarah or not but it's one of our favorites and then the kids really love the toy store we're gonna finish walking around and take you in a couple other places that we like to stop at A new store that's been open here for about how long? A couple uh, months. The beginning of, well, they opened during the whole pandemic. It's called Fillmore. And basically, what it is, it's all sorts of homemade soaps and. Not necessarily. Well, not homemade, yeah. it's organic. You go in, you don't have to buy containers. Basically, helping you recycle. You fill up containers with detergent and shampoos and hand soaps and. Shaving creams, all kinds of things. It's actually pretty neat. I had all sorts of stuff in there. You can come and fill up. And you, they'll charge you by what weight. Is that what she said? Some of it's by the ounce. But that's kind of neat. So. I didn't take it in the antique store because let's face it, you go in one antique shop, you've been to all of them. Um, there's a bee chasing there. <laughs> but uh, we just went into a, a little boutique. Um, wasn't really my cup of tea, but Sarah found her address, so that's good. Right, dear? Sure. <laughs> she sounds thrilled, don't she? One of the main places you gotta stop when you come here, it's a little cafe it's called Appalachian Java some of the best food and drinks that you will find trust me Sarah loves their what are they orangeades they got really good coffee and their food is out of this world so I you definitely need
pretty much it for Burnsville. There's a lot of other shops. Um, Sarah's not feeling too well, so we're skipping a lot of other ones we used to like to go into. But there's one down there. It's an Amish cafe. Um, they have all sorts of goods you can buy, as well as Amish made candies and sandwiches, anything like that. And it's it's very well, we're very good as well. Um, the square is my favorite though. It's just very nice, um, especially on a today like today. It's not very hot. There's a good breeze oh, blowing. No, I just blowing my cupcake. What kind of cupcake did you get? Espresso. You know what you just did? No, I said it's an espresso bean. Well, it's an espresso cupcake. It's very good. I ate the espresso bean off of it. Sorry, I didn't show you that. It's good. We got an orangeade, which is freshly made. And... Caramel frappe. Caramel frappe. Blended with cake. ice cream. Good stuff and the cupcake. How much did that come to? I don't know. <laughs> okay, no worries. So it's about thirteen dollars for for that, but it, it's worth it. Everything's fresh made. And we like getting lunch there, but we already ate lunch. Yeah, we did. We were hoping to kill time up here till supper time and try this new pizza place they just opened, but I don't know. I don't think that's going to happen today. There is a lot of stuff up here that I would suggest checking out if you're coming through. Mount Mitchell. Um, yeah, Mount Mitchell. Burnsville is right at the base of Mount Mitchell. So definitely check that out. The There's park. also a little bookstore, bookseller. Right, it's right beside the public library here. No. Um, isn't it? The library's up there. Oh, never mind. I'll take that back. It, um, it's a little store. They get all their books from the public library that they're no, getting rid of. Donation and by no donations but you don't they don't really have a price on each book it's just you donate, do, money. donate money pretty much um a lot i know of funds go to yeah. library stuff so. boogies found quite a quite a few books in there and we didn't have to pay a whole lot of money for it. you just donate what you want um we paid about a dollar a book yeah so it, it's pretty nice 